That's it. Hello. We're here at uh, Northern Edge with another random five questions with uh, Billy Crawley in a second. Uh, he, did, he just got off stage and, uh, with uh, Dakota Torichini and uh, Hardy Phelps. Hardy Phelps. They did an awesome job. And first time I've seen him live. Here we go. Oh, man. You know something? Yeah, I just want to thanks for coming out tonight. We had a good time here at the Northern Edge, the Cedar Bowl, and uh, did a second time here doing an acoustic set. Um, I've done a solo acoustic stuff about maybe seven years now, and um, I started back with um, back in 2014, I think it was. No, it has been before that. 2013 uh, with Ernie Sosi from James and Ernie. We uh, had this show called the EBT show. It was like Ernie and Billy together. So it was my doing acoustic and him doing comedy. But anyways, full circle, that's what I do acoustic now other than my metal band, you know, Ethnic Degeneration. So I've been doing Ethnic Degeneration for 21 years now. So this is different for me and I enjoy it. Everyone had a good time tonight. Thank you guys for coming out. It's awesome. It's awesome. All right. That's awesome. Okay, uh, my first question would be, uh, being from Kienta uh -huh. and uh, growing up there, um, your dad was a musician also. Yes. And uh, besides your father, what was your uh, influences for you to pick up that guitar and sing? You know, I come from a, a very musical family. You know, my dad was one of them. Um, my mom is another one. She uh, does... Um, uh, we, I grew up in AC, so I always grew up, you know, hearing songs. My mom was a really beautiful voice, so I had that influence for me. My grandma, um, she does song and dance. She she sings the song and dance. I've always heard that. I had uncles that lived by me when I was young, growing up. Awa music, growing up. So I always had this beat thing going on with me, and um, I just it just kind of went into me, and <laughs> and all those times, you know, the music it just was a part of me already, you know, and I, I um, but country music, metal music, um, all genres of music I, I fell in love with, um, but those were my main influences, was my family, my family was my main influence, and then uh, becoming a guitar player, you know, it was, you know, I had, you know, family too, got me started, but yeah, um, I can say that's my influence. So, other than like another level of influences, you know, like of course, I grew up on Metallica and um, Kiss. My favorite band is Kiss. Um, grew up on those guys: Motley Crue, Slayer, Megadeth. Um, you know, then you know, but I went metal. You know, my dad was a country guy. You know, but I went metal and I've been doing metal for. 20 plus years now, so yeah, all, all things in life influence me. So. All right. Yeah. And question number two would be uh, with uh, starting out with ethnic degeneration back in 19, uh, 1998, correct? Yes. And then um, going for so long with metal, and then now you have a band also called the Good Old Boys. Good Old Boys. And that's country. Yep. How do you switch from one genre to another, <laughs> and when, when was, was that a big, uh, it, big move for you? It was, it was a very special move for me, because my dad, um, being what he was in the 70s, Undecided Takers, he was 80 years old, and he asked me, he goes, son, I want to sing again. And I told him, I said, what do you mean? He goes, I want to start a band again, I want to sing again, I miss it. I want to do it again. I, he always, I guess he always wanted to ask me, but I was always busy with my metal band. So, but he asked me and I said, let's do it, Dad. He was getting old, he still had a great voice. So I did it for my dad. It started off with me and Dakota, the guy who played with me tonight. Just me and him and my dad singing these little festivals around the res. Shot to Rock to Canyon we were at. Uh, the first time we were there, my dad loved it. Then it kind of went from recruiting people, a drummer, bass player, went from there, lead guitarist, and just went from there. So we had a band, and we were first called Res Ballad. And then later on, we started filling around, and we had a band, did a couple things, but because of my dad wanted to do it again, I did it. He um, 
really, you know, my dad passed away last year in February, so he wanted to do that again before he went. So, and I did that for him. Now, he named, renamed the band the Good Old Boys, because why would be the Good Old Boys? And I stayed, the band members that I have now are the Good Old Boys because of my dad. So I'm, I'm continuing it for him, and because that's what he wanted to do. And he was so proud that I turned country. <laughs> I was like, I'm still metalhead though. <laughs> but, you know, but he, he saw that in me. And so, making him proud, I continue the country band. The good old boys, that's what. All right. Um, so, the uh, third question is, uh, tonight you played um, a little bit of your um, own. Yeah. And you played a lot of cover songs. Yeah. And you played a lot of your dad's songs. Yeah. And then how, how does that... Um, Go about on like on a playset with your acoustic. Does that depend on like if you're by yourself or how, how does that come about on your um, song song list? A song list. Well, I usually I usually play the songs. I can play the songs by myself, but it just you know for for a show like this, I want a, a, a bigger sound, you know, with leads and stuff. But um, my my playlist tonight. Was based on just the my favorites, my favorite songs, and to honor my dad, to honor my songs, and to honor influences. All those songs we sang tonight were all influences. Growing up, you know the country music stuff, the rock stuff, you know. So it was, it was, it really is those songs that you sing in the shower. <laughs> you know, it's like when you then when you learn how to play it, it's like so like, dad, that's so awesome I can play it, and then to sing it. Even freaking awesome, you know. I just so that's I that I get enjoyment out of that, you know. Songs that I jammed and was like I never thought I'd be playing it for real. Yeah. So that's how my playlist came about. Oh, that's just awesome. Favorite, just favorite songs. <laughs> All right, then. Then the fourth question would be, uh, I, I hear you, um, Amigos Cafe, and uh, you work there. And what do you do there? And how can we find it in Kienta? So, um, I've always, I've grown up in a, in a restaurant business. My mom, my family, we, all, we had a Golden Sands Cafe. I don't know if you've seen the movie Mile Post 398, where Chloe Begay, I fired Chloe Begay. <laughs> that restaurant that it's based in, that was our, my family's restaurant. Oh, okay. For 32 years. Wow. And um, we lost it. We let it go. We moved it on in our life. Um, Amigo Cafe was another restaurant in Kienta. And they needed a manager. And they knew our family, I knew their family. So they asked me to come over. It's been, I've been there six years now. So I managed the Amigo Cafe in Kienta, Arizona. It's on Highway 163. So when you get to Kienta on 160, the junction, you take, go north, go towards Monte Valley, it's just a quarter mile up the road on the right. It's a little Mexican restaurant called the Amigo Cafe. And, uh, Best food ever. You gotta come by. It's, it's great. Chimichangas are awesome. Mm. Combination plate. Now we'll tacos are the best. So that's what I do. I, I run that restaurant. And the family's from Farmington, from here. Uh -huh. so. Wow, that's awesome. I always wondered about that. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I'm there. And my, my fifth and final question sure. usually uh, pertains to our youth. Okay. Uh, what, what encouraging words or what. Um, Words of encouragement can you give our youth today for them to not, I mean, stay out of uh, troubles or harm's way and to continue on to what they want to pursue in life? You know what? All I can say is don't be afraid to live. You know, don't be afraid to choose the right path. You know, just because of what friends might say or make you do, you, know, you, you, you always know what is right in your head before something happens, you know, you, you, you know that you must, you know, continue the right path for yourself. When you say, when you do that, you honor your parents and you honor your clan that you have as, as you know, a Navajo as me, you know, so when you're out there in the real world, you know, you carry on that clan, that last name, where your family is, you carry that with you. They're all behind you. So when the decisions you make in life, they're bad, it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna be bad. But good, you can honor it. It's all about honoring 
and then respecting where you come from. And that's 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 the great greatest thing you could do for yourself is to honor yourself that way. And to, to always, always look forward. Always look forward. Don't let negative get you down. Be positive all the time. Find something that makes you not do bad things or negative things. Always uplift yourself. You know, it's good to pray all the time too. You know, follow your tradition, your culture. And you know, for me, music is my medicine. You know, I, that, that kept me out of trouble for a long, 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 long time. And I just, just want you to follow what you dream to be, and you always get there. I'm 20, 20, 20 plus years chasing my dream. <laughs> I didn't give up yet. If I haven't given up yet, you can't give up. That's, that's what I gotta say to you. That's awesome. Thank well, you. I appreciate the, the interview. You're Thank welcome, you. Yeah. And then, um, would you like to add your uh, social media so people can follow yeah. you and see what uh, your music is like? Yeah. So you can go to our Facebook, Ethnic Degeneration, for my metal band. Then for my country band, it's The Good Old Boys, so O L hyphen boys. Then uh, we can go to reverbnation.com. Reverbnation.com, Ethnic Degeneration. Free downloadable songs from the Ethnic Degeneration band. Well, that's awesome. On that site. And um, then did my social media on Instagram and Facebook, just Billy Crawley the second. So you can find me there. All right, man. Thanks again. You're welcome, man. Yeah.